Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Allie, and I upload three times a week at 10 a.m. CST. I upload lifestyle, beauty, and Bible. So if any of those interest you, go ahead and subscribe. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so if you can see, I already have my brows on. My face is also already primed. I got something a little bit different, a little bit exciting. So, today I am actually doing my first collab with my friend here on YouTube, Raquel Borrego and I will leave everything linked down below. You might even see her face pop up right here. And so yeah, she does also have an Instagram at, and it's at know you got it and I'll put her handle and everything just down below in the description box. So this is our first collab that we're doing together. We are both actually uploading this video on the same day. So after you watch my video, head to her channel, check her out, subscribe to her channel. If you like, actual like makeup artisty artistry type deals like she does a lot of that over there she's done really beautiful valentine's day look her instagram is filled with like super artistic um makeup she even does like halloween makeup and all that stuff so she's super talented so if you like watching things like that as well go ahead and like i said head over to her channel and her instagram follow her subscribe to her so now to what we are collabing with today is we are actually going to do an eyeshadow challenge and we are going to be using two different eyeshadow palettes now the first palette we are using is the same palette so the first palette that we will be using is the Jaclyn Hill volume 1 palette and so the challenge is we are going to color by number basically so when you look now excuse my Jaclyn Hill palette because it is busted and crusted and I have like the OG one that doesn't have the names on the back so as you can see in the Jaclyn Hill palette there are five rows seven or five rows and seven columns so what we're going to do is we are going to draw numbers and so for row one I will draw either number one through seven and whatever number I draw that's the number I have to use for that row so, I will be popping up on the screen which number is where, just so that way I don't lose my place. I'm super nervous, so uh, let's go ahead and pull out what number we will be using for row number one. So, for row number one, I got the number three. So, number three. Oh, I'm so happy. I got me a crease shade. I was so scared I wasn't gonna get a crease shade. Crease shade. So for row number one, I got number three, so I'm going to be able to use silk cream. Woo -woo. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw for row number two. Y'all, this is so light. I'm just like hoping I don't get like something crazy. I was really hoping I didn't get all shimmers. So for row number two, I got number two, and that is the shade Butter. I'm like super excited, y'all. Super excited. Okay. So row number three. It's gonna be crazy if I get a neutral look. I got number four, which is the shade, which is the shade Roxanne. Y'all, this is so funny. Like, I feel like God is gracing me. I'm getting like all matte looks that are going to blend together well. But you see, row four and five, we got them bold colors in that row. So we gonna see. Okay, so for row number five, I got, how did I know I was about to get so crazy? For row number four, I got number one, which is royalty, which is, Y'all. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna get for row number five. Dang. Dang it, y'all. 
don't want y'all to think that I'm like looking. <sighs> Deep breath for row number five. Y'all, for row number five, I got number two, which is Jada. <laughs> I think I jinxed myself. I should have just shut up. I should have just shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all. So, we gonna see. We gonna see what I can do with this. How are we gonna make it work? So obviously first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids and I'm just using my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay. All right, so I don't know if this was allowed or not and I hope it was, but I am gonna set that primer down with some of my translucent powder. BT dubs, how do you guys like the lighting? Is it too much? Is it just right? I got some new lighting and I also got a microphone. Whew, we're gonna apply our little e.l.f. eye tips. Give us some guidelines, some something. Something. Okay, time to get into it i'm so like i kind of have it together in my head but i mean we gonna see because i don't know so yeah so anyways let's go ahead and start out with our first row which was silk cream that we got part is done now going in with butter which was our number two in row two so our row two was butter and we're just gonna go ahead and take that into our crease as well Now we are going into row three, which the color we got for row three was Roxanne. It looks like I've done a literally nothing to my eyelids. So going in with Roxanne will be pretty fun. This next part is very crucial. Like, do I want to take royalty on my lid or Jada? All right, y'all. I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna take Jada on my lid. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back in with some of Roxanne and just try to like blend. Do y'all see that? How Jada's just like blending away. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with royalty and I'm gonna do like a wing liner with that.
Okay, let me know if you guys remember the basketball team, the Hornets. Cause that is definitely the vibe that I'm getting from this makeup look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply lashes and the rest of this off camera and then I will get I will come back to you guys and we'll finish up the lower lash line together. Okay, you guys. So we are back. If you're interested in what I have on my face, I will put like look number one, such and such items, look number two, such and such items. So, but for right now, my lip combo is ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Little One and then ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Swan Song. So I'm glad I chose out a new lip because I did not know what I was gonna get. So going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna take butter and I'm going to run that kind of blowing out along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Roxanne and run that along my lower lashes as well. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this super, sorry. I'm going to go in with this super flat brush right here and go back into Jada and push that up against my lower lashes. Okay, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of silk cream and just run that all together. Going in with some mascara. So I did almost forget my inner corner, but since I really didn't get an inner corner color in the palette, I'm just gonna take my highlight and go in with this side right here. And this palette is in the shade After Sex Glow. And I'm just gonna put that on my inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna do something with my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the look that I was able to come up with. So let me know what you guys think about it. That is it for look number one. Let's go ahead and get on to look number two and see what palette we use. Hey guys, so all of the footage of me drawing and applying the eyeshadows for look number two was corrupt, missing, gone, and so I don't have that. So I thought I would just show you what I did end up pulling and then where you will jump back into the video, you will see like, you'll see like the end results of what I had to work with. So I'm gonna show you what numbers I ended up picking and I'll tell you why I put them. And so yeah, I did end up using the Tati Beauty palette for look number two and these are the colors that I just ended up. So for row number one, I ended up pulling number four which was um, Glitter Soothe. And then uh, for row number two, I ended up pulling number five which is Aura Metallic. And then for row three, which is the sequin row, I ended up pulling ritual sequin. And then for row five, or four, sorry, for row four, I ended up pulling matte memory. So I ended up not in, not getting a crease shade at all. So what I did was I packed this onto the lid. I packed um, Ritual Sequin onto the lid and then just kind of blew it out and diffused it into the crease where it looked like I had a crease shade when I really did not. And then what I did was I went and put, um, I went and put a uh, Soothe Glitter about, filled up my eyelids about one third of the way, just, did, just avoided the outer corner. And I did that with um, Soothe Glitter. And then I used Matte Memory as an eyeliner. So I did a little winged eyeliner and that's what I used for that. And then I took Aura Metallic and I highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone with this shade. 
Okay guys, so we are back and I know you guys like to know lip combos. So I have on lip liner, I have the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. And then I have on the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Sunny Side. Okay, so now let's finish up the eyes. We're gonna go back in with Ritual and we're just gonna run that across our lower lash line. And then for our inner corner, because I didn't forget that we did get a metallic, obviously, and we got Aura. I'm going to put that on my inner corner and probably highlight my brow bone with this as well. And then mascara, mascara, mascara. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop nude eye, or... <laughs> Nude eyeliner in the shade Honey Dude. Okay, you guys. So, this is good. Okay, you guys. This is a completed look that I was able to come up with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Also, let's go ahead and just take a look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Let's just go ahead and take a look. See what I was able to do. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys um, haven't already, go ahead and go subscribe to Raquel Borrego's channel. I'll leave her link down in the description box because this is a collab video. So we're both doing this challenge. And I think it's, we were both talking and we said like, we should just start doing this on a daily basis. Like get our palettes and just draw numbers because it gets us to use the colors in the palette. But like we wouldn't usually reach for, like not to lie, my last two looks have had to be bold looks, but like it, it made me reach for things and colors that like I wouldn't usually use. So I don't know, let me, let me know if you guys try this out. Tag us on Instagram. Don't forget to go follow her and subscribe to her. I'll keep her stuff down in the description box so if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye oh and don't forget that i love you guys but jesus loves you more bye Mwah.